Over the past couple months, we've seen Tech Deck make some pretty exciting new obstacles. One of which being the Tech Deck Shred Line, and the other one being the Tech Deck Shred Pyramid. It's actually pretty exciting that Tech Deck went from making cheap plastic obstacles to actual high quality wooden ones. Tech Deck is definitely starting to switch from making more of toys to actual fingerboard obstacles. The Tech Deck Shred Line may not be the greatest thing to help progress with fingerboarding, but it's really cool that people are now interested in fingerboarding because of it. So it's really cool to see Tech Deck starting to make these things, but I think they made something that's way cooler than both of these. That being Tech Deck DIY Concrete. So this is one of Tech Deck's newest products, Tech Deck DIY Concrete. So when I first saw this, I got pretty excited because generally cement obstacles are mainly made for finger borders and not so much just as a Tech Deck toy. So it's pretty cool to see Tech Deck make this. I think it's about time to open this up and see what the hype is about. So this is everything that comes in the package. Honestly, this is some of the best Tech Deck packaging I think I've ever seen. Everything was just super clean and organized in the package, which definitely makes the experience a little bit better. So this is the cement, what will be concrete. And this is the mold to put the concrete in. This whole panel opens up, which is pretty cool. This is so you can get it out all in one piece. This whole thing is quite a bit smaller than I was expecting. Pretty much two fingerboards span the entire length of the obstacle. This is one of my smallest ramps, and it is a lot bigger than this. Something that is cool about the cement is you don't don't have to use the mold. You are able to just shape it with your hands and then just ride that. So looking at the instructions, here's the basic idea. You take the concrete and open it up, put concrete into hot water. It says put it in for five minutes, but I imagine you kind of need to like mold it and shape it in the water a little bit. Take your flexible cement, place it in the mold. Once the cement is in the mold, put it in a fridge for about six to eight hours and then take it out. So let's do it. So this is it right now, and it almost feels like there's some sort of like polymer in it holding everything together. It is pretty crumbly. Picture the feeling of kinetic sand, but it is super dried out. In the instructions, it doesn't say what this tool is, but it shows a picture of it changing color, so I think that indicates how hot the water is. There we go. It's changing. This feels so wrong to put into the water, but it's our only option. This actually feels so cool. It's all soft and this feels so much like kinetic sand. 10 out of 10 experience just for how this feels. I don't know what I was expecting this to feel like, but this feels way different. It is now time to take it out and put it in the mold. This actually has like water in it. I think this is gonna be really important just to make sure we push it right down where it needs to go, just so it has like the perfect shape. Something else I think that'll help is putting it in kind of loose and then packing it just so it like goes down right where it needs to. The hardest part about this whole process is just getting the top part smooth, but pushing it firmly down on the table really helps.
This is the most important part right across here because this is the transition up onto the ramp. Overall, I think I got this pretty smooth. I am actually pretty happy with how this looks. So the next step is to put this in a fridge for around six to eight hours and then we can take it out and see what we have. 24 hours later. For you guys, only a few seconds have gone by, but this has been in the fridge for about 24 hours. I just noticed this color is like the exact color of my shirt. Now it is time to take this out of the mold and see what we have. This actually doesn't look so bad. No way, this is actually sick. This is like solid as well. It doesn't rock at all. Look at these numbers on the mold. They're actually on the cement. There's also quite a bit of moisture still on the mold and the cement is kind of moist right now, but I'm sure it'll dry off pretty fast. I'm actually very surprised about how solid this actually is. I was kind of expecting this to be like slightly flexible in a way, but this is like solid cement. I guess this is now concrete. It's not cement anymore. <laughs> Just a little bit sketchy. This is probably my favorite thing Tech Deck has ever made. The best part about this is you can just put this back in hot water and make whatever else you want. When I was younger, I always had like anxiety about something that you can only do one time. I'm like, what if I mess it up? What if it doesn't turn out how I want it to? But now they took the stress right out of that. Mess up the process of putting it in the mold. It's okay, put it back in hot water and try it again. <laughs> I'm actually very impressed about this. I'm just gonna go over some of the things maybe I don't like about this and things that I think they could improve on. I think something that would be really cool to have is have like multiple different molds that you can buy and maybe one kit that just comes with like a lot of cement. They could make one package where it's like all cement and then a bunch of different miscellaneous molds that you can buy on your own term. Because compared to your standard obstacle, this thing is pretty small. Even though this stuff is pretty easy to shape just into whatever you want, I think it would still be super cool to see maybe some bigger obstacles and a lot more of them. I'm super curious to see what you guys think about this because I love the idea of this and I really think they could expand on this a lot. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and we are on track for hitting 100,000 subscribers before the new year. But first, you guys need to actually subscribe. So if you enjoy my videos but you're unsubscribed, you may as well just hit the button. Big thanks to everybody who made it to the end of the video. I appreciate every single viewer who is watching this video and I will see you in my next video.